Hey guys, Retom here, and today we're back again with Mountain Blade Warband. Now, the previous time, we started off in the Kingdom of Rodox. We took out a bunch of different looters and robbers. We saved the brother of a merchant. We did the tutorial, and we also won a tournament. Now, today we're going to continue on, and we're going to start off with going to the marketplace and actually seeing what we can buy with the almost 5,000 dinars we have. So I could buy, like, pretty much the best swords and stuff they have. I don't really have anything all that interesting here. I mean, I've got a Kergut bow already, so this is a bit disappointing, but let's... What about arms? Let's see. So yeah, this is more like it, although this stuff is incredibly expensive. It would be a big upgrade on my current stuff, as you can see. Let's first actually go back to Yalkala. I think they had more interesting weapons for us there. Because obviously, you know, every city has a different arms merchant and stuff. Actually, there's someone here. Let me see. actually ask if, if they have a task for me. My name is Voltaire Sandra, at your service. Do you have any tasks for me? He's the lord of the village of Ruldi. However, it's been months since Ruldi has delivered the taxes and rents due to me as a rightful lord. Apparently the populace there has grown on Ruldi and I need someone... Ah, right. So he needs me to collect taxes. And I'll get one-fifth if I agree. Sure. So I need to go to Ruldi and collect taxes there. Let's see, where is Ruldi? Oh, it's over here. That shouldn't be too hard. Ooh, that's the king. Maybe I can actually talk to him again. We meet again. I come to offer you my sword and vassalage. Um, actually, will you agree to that? My lady, you seem to have the makings of a good war leader for a woman to show such skills and uncommon thing in Calradia. But not completely without precedent. Noble women have often taken command of armies after their husbands or fathers were slain or captured, for example. However, I have never heard of a king who granted a thief to a woman, no matter how valorous, simply because he needed an extra vassal. Were I to do such a thing, I would raise eyebrows across Calradia. Men would say that I was besotted or bewitched, or that I aimed to overturn the natural order of things. As much as I regret it, I cannot afford to grant you a fief. Hmm. I would be willing to fight for you even without the fief. Uh, what if I were to take one of your enemy castles by force? Well, in that case, depending on the circumstances, I might be inclined to let you keep it. Okay. Perhaps... Okay, let's not do that. I would be willing to fight for you even without the fief. So you, you've had to show yourself as a competent commander, take your sword to my enemies and prove to me that you are worthy of becoming my vassal. Okay. Let's collect some taxes. Start collecting. The people of Roldi are outraged at your demands and decry is nothing more than extortion. They're getting very restless and they may react badly if you keep pressing them. Uh, ignore them and continue. There we go. Collected 4,105 in taxes from Roldi. Count Tribden will be expecting you to take the money to him. Yeah, well, he can expect all you want, so I'm actually not going to do that. There we go, I just got... I just got 9,000 dinars. Let's go shopping. I don't really care what he thinks, to be honest. Like, none of my concern. Strong Warbow. Ooh, I could actually buy this one. Damage 28, accuracy 99. Big damage increase. But the thing is, it's not really worth that much for that money. I think I'll go with armor instead. Let's see. Lamellar armor. Now let's buy some... Plate boots as well. But I could get like pretty much a full armor set. And maybe some gloves. Any like really basic gloves will do really. Some leather gloves, sure. Ah, I just have like, I, I'm just too short of actually being able to buy that. Alright, no gloves then. That'll still be good actually. So do I want to like spend literally everything on armor? You know what? Yes I do. Alright, that should mean that I can handle a lot more blows now in the open field, which is good. But seeing as I'm out of money, I, should, I could probably just talk to him. And any more tournaments? Suno, Kudan, Merik, Dirim, Naran, Durkuba. Okay, fine. Let's go to Suno. I don't really have enough money to bet on myself right now, so first I'm gonna enter the arena. And then just go for a melee fight. And just earn some money like this before I do anything else. So just... Take... Uh-oh. Crap. Right, let's try this again. Okay, so... First up, just get to him. Okay, just screw you for doing that. Come on. There we go, it's him taken care of. Now, which one of you assholes had a bow and arrow? Anyone? No? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, new guy spawned in here. It's him taken care of. Hey! 
him taken care of. I think you get about, like, maybe 300 if you kill everyone here, so... It's him taken care of. Alright, come on, who's next? Oh, crap. Oh, there goes my shield. That's fine. I don't need a shield. Who needs a shield? Not me, that's for sure. Oh, hey, another shield. Good. Thank you. Something I forgot to mention in the previous part, by the way. The reason as to why I love Mountain Blades combat so much is because it's all very much based on mouse directions. Like, if I want to do a swing to the left, I have to move my mouse to the left. If I want to do an upward swing, I have to move my mouse forwards, etc, etc. So you have, like, basically four directions where you can attack from, and the enemy also has to defend from. Except for if you have a shield, then you can just hold it up. But if you want to block without a shield, then you have to try and parry it. So if I, like, do this, for example, you can see that he holds his shield to the right. In order to block my incoming attack. Oh, wow. Only 10 dinars? Okay, let's try that again. This actually trains my weapon skills too, so I'm gonna need a training montage. About 300 dinars, I think I'm ready. Right. One dinars, let's go. Come on. go. It's her also taken care of. Oof. Okay, I was thinking I was gonna get my ass kicked there, but luckily it seemed to have worked out. Oh, that's a teammate. Never mind. There we go. Perfect. Okay, Lance. Missed completely, sadly. Which is too bad, because I had a lot of good speed there. Let's try again. I did seven whole damage, wow. Oh crap. Well, I tried to help out my teammate there, but I think he's boned. Yeah, he is. Okay, that's just gonna be me left against the entire red team. Well, at least I took out his horse. That's a good start, actually, because now all I gotta do is just ride circles around these guys. Unless there's someone with a bow, that could also work, but I don't think so. Well, that's one taken care of, but I just took like three hits for it, so let's make sure that doesn't happen again. 
That's one taken care of. Good. Whew. That's another one. That's another one. There we go. Perfect. Whew. Okay. 16 participants remaining. Let's go. Oh, this is just a duel, is it? Okay. There we go. Next round, three teams with two fighters each. Let's go. Alright, let's start off on a horse. That's pretty good. Let's make sure to take out one of these guys. Okay, he did a lot of damage to my horse there. Okay, at least now he's taken care of. I should get out of here quickly. And my teammate actually took care of the other guy. Good. And also uh, of the last remaining one. Nicely done, teammate. Okay, four participants remaining. Last one, next one's gonna be a duel again. Pretty sure I have the speed advantage here, so I should make use of it. There we go. Okay. Let's go, last one. Oh, that's not a good start. There we go. Alright, 3,250 dinars. Good, good, good. I'm only a thousand short for a heavy warhorse, which would have been really cool. Alright, that tournament also won. Let's actually make our way back to... Yaokala. Your money or your life! Ah, damn it, mountain bandits. One against 17, okay. I'm pretty sure mountain bandits, bandits can be pretty scary. So I should be careful here. Because... These guys do not fuck around. I'm not sure if they have horses or not. I don't think they do. Nope. Okay, they're all over there. Yeah, no horses, which is good. They might have archers, though. Okay, they're all holding their shields up like that. Good choice. And these guys have throwing axes. Oof, okay. That's okay. Just gotta be more careful. There we go. If I get into range with them so they stop throwing that shit, that'd be good. Hmm. How am I gonna take these guys on? Because they all hold up their shields. There we go, it's one at least. Wait, that guy has a two handed weapon. I can take him out pretty easily then. There we go. Okay, just bait them into into trying to attack me. There we go. Oh crap, actually keep moving, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just realized how little, how, how few arrows I have left. That's not good. That's one. That's another one. Yeah, I'm doing way more damage than I used to. Which is good. Let's see if I can pick off these stragglers. Good. Fortunately, my axe that just doesn't really have the range it should have. Wait, that guy's alone over there. Let's go for him. Damn it. Hit my horse again. Fortunately, there's no real point trying to go for them if they have their shields up like that. Come on. 
There we go. There we go. Another one. Just wait. Just wait. Damn it. That's him. There we go. At least got another one. Hit one, two. I'm gonna go for one more. There we go. Okay, you know what? What happens if I just... Okay, I can't retreat because there are enemies in here. I'm pretty sure I can retreat and then just like start this battle again. And they'll have that few people left and my health and my horse health will still be the same. Okay, I was wounded for seven hit points. That's okay. It's only one against nine now. I think I took like a small uh, HP damage for retreating. But that's perfectly fine. My horse health is completely up again. My health is still the same as it ever was almost. And those guys are ten men down. And also, they don't ha really have their shields up yet. There we go. Two more. It's him taken care of. Him taken care of. Okay, I think that's all the archers they had. Now I just gotta play this slow and steady. There we go. That's him taken care of. Now it's only three people left. I think they're running away actually. Yeah, they are. Can't blame him for running away, really. I'm still gonna kill him, though. There we go. That's all of them taken care of. Now, let's see, did they have anything good on them? Honestly, no, not really. Um, sell their ragged outfits, at least. Might as well, right? Oh, yeah, leveled up. Good. Okay, let's put a point in the strength. I was hoping I could get uh, power draw up by one again, but apparently not. That's fine, though. Two skill points. Uh, another point to first aid. That's just handy to have. And... I guess I'll put another point to power strike. There we go. Okay, so that's up. You know, they'll put pole arms up too. Good. What's this then, eh? Oh. One against seven here. Another pair of looters. Sure thing. Like I said before, looters, they normally run away from you if you have like a sizable army or if you have like more than 20 people. But seeing as I'm just in my lonesome, they always think they can take me on. Funnily enough, the stones actually do no damage anymore because, you know, armor. Guys, you can throw stones all you want. It really doesn't do much. There we go. Alright, so let's actually sell all of these too. What I am going to buy, however, is another pair of arrows. And I guess no shield then, which is not very smart, actually. Hmm. I'll try to go with this for now, because, like, if I put two arrows here, it just means that I have extra arrows, and I keep running out of them. Actually, you know what? We'll do it like this. Yeah. You know what? I'll pick up a sword. I'll pick up swords for my dead enemies or whatever. We'll find a way. Right now, though, I don't really need that heavy, heavy axe. Now, can I also actually buy some gauntlets? There we go. Gauntlets. Let's see if we can find out wherever the king is. Uh, I need to know the location of the king. Should be close to Veya Castle at the moment. Veya Castle is over here. Ooh, is he in a fight? I'm not exactly sure who's at war with who, but that might very well be the case. Where's the king? Close to Charisse at the moment, okay. Right, Charisse is over here. Oh crap, they're actually putting the capital of the Sarnid Sultanate under siege. Now this I want to see. Yep, they are. Uh, actually, if I go to the king now, do you have any tasks for me? Uh, okay, sure, I can do that. Can I just offer you a sword and vassalage, and I'll fight for you even without the thief. Oh, he's still kind of indifferent towards me. Yeah, that makes sense. I haven't done much yet. I need to get on this guy's good side. So, Karov Castle. Oh, there it is. Wow, you can't do that yourself? All right, fine. Here you go, bring a message. Alright, with that done, let's go back to Shuri's. Those guys haven't actually begun the siege yet, they're just standing outside now. Or they have started the siege but haven't actually started the attack yet. So let's go back to the king. Any more tasks? 
Oh, again? Wow, okay, you couldn't have... Oh, that's weird, but sure. Another message. Any more tasks? Ramin of Valuka. He murdered one of my men. Okay, so I need to hunt someone down called Ramin of Valuka. Yeah, I can do that. He's currently believed to be an Emer. Where the hell is Emer? Oh, it's over there. Now, hunting down an escaped outlaw is always the same. You go to the village itself and you look around for a guy who's kind of standing somewhere sneakily. Might be this guy, actually. No, he's a village elder. He's always standing still and he's always in a place where you won't expect him. And he's always called the Nervous Man. Let's see, where are you? You have to be somewhere around here. There he is. You can see that he's like completely hidden from the rest. So let's just... Keep our distance here. Okay. Nervous Man. I'm looking for a murderer by the name of Ramin of Valuka. You fit his description. I don't understand, madam. I've never killed anyone. I think you got the wrong man. Then drop your sword. If you're innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors. If they verify your story, I'll go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You're going to have to fight for your silver today. I come not for money, but to execute the law. Okay, let me just get out of the way first. Right, yeah, you, you, you try there, buddy. Oh, crap. That's one. That's two. Oh, crap. I, 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 dude, it was just a prank. Chill. Okay. That dude, he can take a lot of arrows. I'll give him that. There we go, though. Now he's down. With him taken care of, I just need to return back to the king. Uh, He's probably still in Shuri's, right? Yeah, it's still under siege, so he'd still be there. Wait, did they, did they lift the siege? No, oh, shit, I think they did. Uh, fine, go this way. Guys, where's the king? He's traveling to Yelkala. Okay. Yeah, I think they're lifting the siege, because uh, it didn't work out, I guess. So, off to Yelkala we go. So, annoyingly, there's a feast going on, but I can't go in. Hmm. But what I can do to actually join the feast is join the tournament again. Alright, let's try this one again. Well, let's, let's see. We start off with a horse, a shield, and a one-handed weapon. Not bad. There we go, it's him taken care of. I should take care of that crossbow guy next. 40 damage there. Perfect. Now it's just him left. Damn it. Alright, good. Alright, 32 people remaining. Oh, I actually hit the guy too. Awesome. Let's take care of him if we can. Actually hit the other guy this time. It's him taken care of. Damn it. It's him taken care of. Wow, me and my teammates just decimated those guys. Nice. Three teams with three fighters each. Damn it, I was hoping to wait for the right moment there. Oh, just hit a friendly. Sorry. Now let's see, who's gonna win this? Are those guys my teammates? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah they are. Tier 4. Two teams- oh, this is a duel. Okay. Let me just take out their horse before anything else. Okay, didn't get the horse, that's fine. It's gonna take a while for her to turn around now. Come on. Oof. Luckily my strategy worked out in the end, but it got close. And another duel. Does this- oh, that guy has a bow, that's not good. Okay, screw it, just gotta get close to him now. I hope he doesn't hit me. <sighs> Come on. It's 
So close. That's right, screw you. Oof, nearly actually killed me there. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Alright, time for the finals. Bow and arrow. I actually hit him as well. Hit him again. Can I just hit him every single time? Can as well. There we go. Wait, did I forget to place bets on myself? Oh shit, I think I did. I could have earned so much more money. Oh well, level 8. And I can talk to the king now, right? Uh, let's see. Do you have any tasks for me? And I need to send another message. Sure thing. Can I actually offer you my sword now? No, I can't. I think I need to get to like 10 and I'm at 6 now. While we go over there, let's actually level up. I'll put one into agility. And get my riding up to 4. Which is good. And also put a point to strength. Might as well. And yeah, for the 15 weapon points, uh, we'll go into pole arms again. There he is, found him. Alright, message. Back to Yalkala we go. Alright, king. Do you have any tasks? Oh shit, he doesn't. Okay, that's annoying, he has no tasks for me. Oh, now he does. Alright, I'm just gonna deliver yet another message to him, to Emir Nuam. That's right, I'm just being a courier for this guy. But you know what, the Brooks? As long as he likes me enough, I can finally offer my sword in vassalage. Oh crap, you can see the desert bandits are trying to get to me. Ooh, wait, manhunters against desert bandits. Fine, let's help out the manhunters then. 7 against 11. Yeah, it should be possible. I'm not exactly sure what manhunters are again. But you know what, if I can help out, then sure. Why not? Ooh, wow, these desert bandits aren't messing around though. They actually have cavalry. One taken out. At least I'm doing some good damage here. Him taken out. Oh crap, I didn't even notice these guys. Okay, it's not the same when the enemy can actually keep up with you. I think most of my allies here are dead. There we go. There we go. Holy shit. <laughs> Can't believe I got that shot off. That's also him taken care of. I think that's my that was my last ally. There's only three of them left as far as I can see. There we go, there we go, and there we go. So the manhunters were pretty much boned if it weren't for me. Thank you for your help. Yeah, no problem. I can hire these manhunters now if I wanted to, or at least one of them, but I don't need to. I think they're going to have more trouble now, because, yeah. Knife. Fine, might as well just help out my friend. Okay, apparently they got their assets beat before I could get to them. Okay, shit. I'm boned. Well, let's go. Ah! Shit, I actually forgot they can keep up with me now. That's one down. Twenty more to go. 19. Come on. There we go, 18. It's 
17. Damn it. Okay, you know what? I just shoot into the crowd a bit. There we go. No. Okay, this is bad. I mean, not impossible, but still very bad. Wait, unless... There we go. Now get on, get on, get on, get on. There we go. Okay, come on. Whew. Go like this. There we go, it's another one. Now I'm out of arrows, though. Right, can I pick something up here? Ah, I nearly picked up the mace. Wait, I can actually pick up the arrows from the battlefield. It's only one, but still. Maybe one is all I need. Okay, I need more than one. <laughs> That's another one. Okay, I missed. That's not good. Okay. Let me think for a moment. If I can pick up this guy's... No, I just picked up his bow. That doesn't really help much. Did I pick up his arrows, though? Now I could probably go better with my own bow. Alright, here we go. Light Lance. Now I've got a fighting chance. Just so many arrows all around. And I'm just like spamming the F button as if my life depends on it. But unfortunately, I don't think I actually picked up any of them. That's one down. That's another one. Crap, don't, don't stand still. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. That's another one. And that's him down. Whew. That's another one. Yeah, that, that new armor was a good idea. That's him down. Okay, I'm almost completely out of health here. Okay, let's take this guy out if I can. There we go. I think that might have been one of the last archers. Nope, there's still two more. No! Damn it. Well, they're taking me prisoner now. Alright, I managed to escape at least. Did they take anything from me? Okay, I'm extremely lucky because they've actually not taken any of my armor. Or my horse. So yeah, that works for me. But honestly, they're still right over there. They've got my Manhunter hunter friends prisoner. And I've just leveled up. I think we need to take some vengeance. Also, let's just put a point to strength first. Power draw 5, that's what I want. Now pole arms also go up. Now let's go. Surrender or die. One against three. Wow, whatever happened to all those other ones? Revenge is a dish, best served, cold. Saying that, I nearly got myself killed there if I ran into their lance. Oh crap. That's one. 
There goes your horse. Yeah, that's right. Do go walk too now. Come on. There we go. Easy as can be. And all those manhunters, I could hire them, but honestly I don't need to. I just wanted to rescue them. Now with that little adventure wrapped up, let's head back over here. Emir Nuam, I actually need to talk to that guy. Message from the king. It's up to eight already. Ooh, they're actually putting Shari's under siege yet again. I wonder how it's gonna go this time. Oh, I need to be an errant boy again. Calredon Castle. Okay, sure. Another message from the king. We're at nine already. Good, good. Uh, deliver a letter, sure. Okay, so if I deliver this one last letter, then I should be good enough. It's in Calredon Castle. At that point, he should like me enough to actually accept it. I think it's the, it's a 10 when they actually accept that. So let's hope that works. Okay, deserters are actually kind of tough, but you know what? Sure, I'll help out. Why not? Got 13 people here against 7. That should work out. Don't worry, guys, we got this. Keep these guys occupied. That's one taken out. Okay, this isn't... My whole plan of keeping them occupied isn't really working. There we go. Now with that done, uh, where were we off again? Oh yeah, Amir. Hold up. There he is, Count Stamar. Found him. Message from King. Okay, now it's up to 10 already. Which means at this point he should accept my vassalage. Alright, there's the king. Now then, my lord, I've come to offer you my sword in vassalage. I'll be willing to fight for you, even without the thief. You are known to be a brave warrior and a fine leader of men. I should be pleased to accept your sword into my service and bestow vassalage upon you, if you are ready to swear homage to me. Alright, I'm ready. Good, then repeat the words of the oath with me. I swear homage to you as lawful ruler of the kingdom of Rodox. I will remain as your loyal and devoted follower as long as my breath remains, and I will be at your side to fight your enemies should you need my sword. Finally, I will uphold your lawful claims and those of your legitimate heirs. There we go. Let it be known that from this day forward you are my sworn follower and vassal. I give you my protection and I grant you the right to bear arms in my name, I pledge that I shall not deprive you of your life, liberty or properties except by the lawful judgment of your peers or by the law and custom of the land. You have done a wise thing. There we go. Now, as you can see, the Sarnath Sultimate hates my guts now, because they're at war with these guys, as does the Kingdom of Swadia. Alright, well, seeing as we've actually done a bunch of tournaments, done a bunch of missions for the king, and also finally became become a vassal for him, I think we should call it a part here. Next time, we're going to pretty much immediately break that oath by trying to find a castle of either the Sarnath Sultanate or uh, the other guys to take over. Completely on my own, hopefully. And then I'm going to claim it for myself and tell the king to basically F off. And by that, I'm going to piss off the entire world. But that's all for next time. For now, I'm just going to say thank you all for watching. This has been Mountain Blade Warband, One Man Army, and I'll see you all next time.